Welcome, everyone, to another edition of To Your Health, a program designed to bring you information on healthy living, featuring those who bring a healthy living lifestyle to you and make it achievable. I'm Fred Zucker, coming to you from the beautiful Parker campus in Dallas, Texas. Today, our special guests are Mr. Steve Weller, who is the Director of Athletics and Recreation here at Parker University, Mr. Bo Sauls, who is a trimester seven student here at Parker University. And gentlemen, uh, you're here for a very special reason, that being that it was only a few weeks ago, that maybe two weeks ago, that we had the Cairo Games, which is an annual athletic competition that is held among all the chiropractic colleges in North America. Steve, why don't you tell us a little bit about the Parker Games and what that means to the students here at Parker? Well, the the, uh, the wonderful thing about the Cairo Games is it's become a tradition. Uh, it's become uh, something that our students look forward to. It's, it's anticipated every year. We have a, a better turnout every year at tryouts and things like that. And what it really is is it, it brings the best athletes that Parker has to compete against the best athletes of every chiropractic school in the country, and in, that would include Canadian Memorial as well. Uh, it's not unusual to have 16, 17 different chiropractic schools and up to almost 1,000 students down in Cocoa Beach, Florida. We yep. compete in 15 different sports. Uh, Parker chooses uh, to compete in 14 of those 15. We don't take an ice hockey team with us, but uh, oh, no ice hockey. But that's 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 our next job there is to right. get an ice hockey team together. But but um, uh, we go down to this year. We took 106 students down to Cocoa Beach, Florida, and uh, not only do these students represent the school athletically, but they also represent them academically too. And and uh, uh, the conversations that go on between schools, uh, between the athletes of schools and stuff, uh, at one point or another will always center around chiropractic and, and uh, the goodwill it does and, and, and really the sense of pride that the students have when they represent Parker. Sure. There's, there's, there's a number yeah. of things that happen during the Cairo Games that are really significant um, that may be a little under the uh, under the, the, the covering of, of what the Cairo Games are all about. But right. But uh, certain things that, that really work out well for, uh, for our student athletes, and I know they look forward to it, and they, uh, uh, and they represent very well. And this year, we had an exceptional team. Well, I understand that we did pretty well this year, and we've done pretty well for many years. Why don't you give us a little synopsis of Parker's experience over the last decade or well, so? Well, we, we, uh, we had an exceptional squad this year. Uh, uh, we have, uh, in the past 13 years, won the championship 10 times. Uh, it's the overall team 13. championships. Yes, uh, um, and I'm always I'm always quick to point out the years we didn't win it, we finished second. So so uh, when we come back and finish second, sometimes students say, oh, you had a bad year. Well, uh, for us, maybe that was, but there's 16 other schools wish they could have finished second. Wish they could have finished you know, second, and, right. And, Second's not bad. And but this year, uh, um, we, we, we it was a magical team. We had, uh, we had 14 different teams. All 14 finished in the top three of their particular sport. And as you finish in the top four, you get team points and you add up all those team points. At the end of it, you crown an overall champion. We had six teams win championships, five teams finish second, three teams finish third. We didn't need any fourth place points. We don't need your stinking fourth place points. That's right, points, keep your fourth say. place points. We don't need them. <laughs> but we, uh, uh, we rolled up 118 points, which is more than any school has ever rolled up in, in a Cairo Games. And, we beat Logan uh, by 34 points. Logan finished second, and mm. uh, uh, quite honestly, it was rewarding for me because Logan really came after us. They thought they had a team this year that was going to compete and win. They brought 150 students down really? uh, to wow. our 106, and and uh, as I tell our students, when they always approach me on that subject, is why do they bring so many more than we do? It's not how many you have, it's who you have. Sure. And we have the right combination of our 106. And, uh, Absolutely. Uh, it was a very rewarding experience. Uh, the team, uh, like I say, uh, uh, there's, there's certain things that stand out to me. And, and one of the things at the award ceremony when they're presenting all the, the gold medals and all that, when you see 106 students jumping up and down yelling, Parker, Parker. It really, be great. It, it really is a special feeling, and, and it, it, it's a source of great pride. And I think every one of our students comes back refreshed. And, you know, school is, is, is challenging enough, but every once in a while you get away from it. You, you re-energize a little bit. And certainly the Cairo Games and the spirit shown there uh, exemplifies that. Definitely. Well, I, speaking to your point about the, the, the recalibration, uh, recharging of the students, mm -hmm. This is a very intensive academic program, as I'm sure Bo will attest to. 
And without recreation and athletic activities, intramurals, there's very little that you can do to, to get that sort of a change of pace that you need sometimes after being in class and working so hard. So I think that provides a tremendous outlet for our students. You know, one of the things I'm equally as proud of as the 10 championships in the last 13 years is the fact that so many of our Cairo Games students graduate with honors. Right. I'm, I have the good fortune to be able to go to a lot of the commencements, and you see the people that are recognized as graduating with honors or valedictorians, salutatorians, and uh, so many of them are Cairo Games athletes. It's uh it dispels the theory that you have to study 24-7, that sometimes right. you need to have some balance in your life. You need to get away from it. Absolutely. And that's what uh, uh, the Activity Center, that's what Parker Fit, that's what, what the Cairo Games, our intramural program, our athletic program, our basketball teams, it all gives them an outlet to, to get away from the classroom once in a while, recharge your batteries, and, and that in turn allows you to be a better student in class. Absolutely. And Parker University College of Chiropractic in particular represents a a wellness lifestyle, a healthy lifestyle, which is exemplified by participation in athletics. Mm -hmm. An active lifestyle is a very important part of that. And our students are doing things with the Cairo Games that they can continue for the rest of their lives. Which Absolutely. Which I think is so good. Well, Bo, you are a Tri-7 student here at Parker. Yes, sir. I'd like to hear a little bit about your background. I understand you're a native of San Antonio. <laughs> yes, sir. Right so just tell that. us a little bit about, about yourself, about how you came to be at Parker, and about your participation in the games. So mine's a little bit different story. Um, I started uh, undergrad. I was doing communications and kinesiology. Um, I had played. I made a basketball team for a year, and I played for a year, but didn't play, really play much after that really just kind of focused on studies, everything that I was doing. Right. And um, when I graduated, I be actually became a sports editor for a newspaper. Yeah. And I thought, you know, this is what I'm going to do. This is what I want to do. And this is going to be great. Yeah. But after work, I was working with a paper probably for a year. And I started to feel like, well, I'm not really doing much. I'm not really helping people as much as I thought I'd be able to help. Right. Um, so I actually talked to a company called Arosti who had helped me mm -hmm. be able to go play basketball in college. And I was talking to the doc who had treated me. And he goes, hey, why don't you come work for us? be a recovery specialist. I said, I can do that. So I came over there, I applied, went through 12 interviews, got the job. Right. And right. Um, I'm working there for three years and I'm working under a doctor, Dr. Casey Crisp. And he was actually the head doc of the clinic for Palmer in Iowa. Mm -hmm. So he took me under his wing and he's just like teaching me everything. And like anytime he can, he takes me to the side teaching. He assigned me papers whenever I actually had a job. I wasn't in school yet, so I hated that. Right. It was a little bit of an eye-opener when I was going to get here in school. Right, your academic so. <laughs> preparation. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So um, after a couple of years of working with him, he was like, you just need to go. You need to go to school and you need to do this. And I said, I think you're right, but I'm scared because it's a scary thing. It's a big step. Like you're yep. leaving a successful job, a good job that you have, and you're going to go to school. Yeah. And you're going to take on debt. And you're yeah. going to... An unknown quantity. An unknown quantity, exactly. And mm -hmm. possibly, like, you don't know the load either. 28 to 30 hours in a trimester, that's a lot. That's a lot. So we did that, and I started doing this. But then coming through school, with Steve, I met Steve right in the beginning, and Steve was talking about the basketball team. And I was like, well, I love basketball. I'd love to play. And one of the big things that, for me, whenever it was, is I'm studying, and I start getting studying so much that I'll just keep studying for hours. Right. The problem there is you don't give your brain a break. You get overwhelmed. You right. lose information. You lose knowledge. That's right. As soon as I started using the gym and started playing basketball with it, everything came back. It's like right. I was uh, an athlete again. Yeah. So In training. Exactly. Yeah. And then so you look at what Steve was kind of talking about. These athletes get to go out and kind of blow off steam and stuff, but it's a brain chemistry thing at that point. Like you're taking Definitely. me from a student that used to study and have three-day practices. Now I'm studying with no practices. Right. So I have all this excess energy with no idea what to do with it. Right, right. So getting to be a part of the Cairo Games team and go there for three years and win each three years, we're very proud of that. Um, I mean, well it's, you should. it's been a great great experience for me. Yeah. You know, one of the things about Bo, too, is that he, he came on this campus as uh, what we call a non-traditional student. He was out of school for a little right. while. But yet he took charge, he took a leadership role immediately. He takes a leadership role in the Cairo Games, takes a le leadership role in the classroom, and, uh, and of course, is our captain of the basketball team. And, and, uh, um, and he's, he's really one of the reasons that we have the success at Parker we have, both academically and athletically. Right. Absolutely. And I think it's also got to be a factor that you've got a 1,000 students there. And I'm sure, having a lot of experience with college and professional-level students, they may be looking for some extracurricular activity during that time, and so it's really important to be professional. You're representing the university, and leadership from the student-athletes like Bo is going to make sure, or certainly 
make it much easier for us to maintain that kind of professionalism with avoiding any kind of issues that might come up down there. Absolutely. And, and the rivalries uh, are something that spills over year to year. So I always uh, enjoy telling a story when Canadian Memorial wins an award, when they win a, any particular sport championship or medal, their team immediately breaks into O Canada. And they sing their national anthem. It's the national anthem, and we sing it with them. Don't which, worry. Which, which, <laughs> really? uh, yeah. We love which them. Immediately, <laughs> if the other eight hundred people in the audience there are screaming USA, USA, <laughs> yeah. while they're singing their national. So it, it it does present some great rivalries and some great funny moments uh, at the car games too, and yeah. and it does really uh, brings the students together, and it, it, it causes. I, I noticed this year um, we played Cleveland, Kansas City in basketball in the championship game, and. It was such a great game. I mean, mm, from, from start game. to finish, never, you know, it was, this was a, a Duke, North Carolina clash, you know, ah, this was really yeah. a good one. Yeah. And, and uh, I got to the awards banquet a little earlier than our team did. And I, when our team arrived, Cleveland was already there. They immediately got up and hugged and shook hands with all our players because they, they appreciated the competition. That's great. You know, yep. and it was, it, that's the kind of friendships and the kind of camaraderie you have at the Cairo games. And that's what you want. I mean, you want people to, to feel good about competing. Everybody's mm-hmm. there for a good reason, representing their institution. But they're also there to man- make friends and, and people coming back. Absolutely. You know, that's, that's a great uh, thing. Just before we started, Bo was saying we've got a great rivalry with Cleveland, Kansas City yep. now. And this is one that's going to carry on because they're a young team and we're a pretty young team as well. Yeah. Well, what about the prospects for next year? Now, Bo, will you be back next year? I. <laughs> that's that's the question that, right now. We're not quite sure about that. And then the thing is, uh, when you become a Tri-10, um, if you get your adjustments done ahead of time, you can then do a CBI, which would right. be off campus or somewhere else with another doctor. And I plan on having my adjustments done by then, so I'm planning on doing a CBI. Yeah, CBI is uh, community-based internship. Yes, sir. It's a great program. Yes, sir. And I and I'm, I would be able to learn a lot. Um, there's a, Dr. Morgan brought Kineticence onto campus, which is a new mm-hmm. screening program. Um, I'm hoping to be able to do more stuff with them, and he I get to do that in the gym, so... That's a big thing I'm looking at. The issue there is now that we have this rivalry with Cleveland, I was talking with the basketball, their captain, and I actually traded shirts. I gave him a Parker shirt. He gave me a Cleveland shirt. That's great. So we're, he's trying to tell me, to, he's texting me, that you need to come back next year. And I'm telling him, I'm coming back next year because we're going to beat you guys. There's no way that we're going to get second place again to y'all. So it's well, there. Over yeah. the years, there's been a number of students here that I hated to see graduate. Right. You know, just because I'm selfish and I want our athletes yeah. to stay with us for a while. Obo is certainly one of those. I, he, I don't want him to do that. Group, is there right? any way we can turn that CBI down on him? Or something? <laughs> yeah. Don't yeah. do that. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's one of those we things. all know his career path and stuff is is centered around that CBI and stuff, sure. and, and we wish him well and stuff. But I'm certainly hoping when we take the floor next year that he's he's our captain. Definitely, well, that'd be super. Well, one of the things we have started doing the last two years, uh, we have the Parker Seminar on campus here in Dallas, and we have now established, I guess it's been two years, Mm -hmm. we have a reunion of the Cairo Games alumni. And any of the alumni who are back, we have a luncheon. We also invite the current uh, Cairo Games students to come to the luncheon at this place right across the street called the Wild Turkey. Yes. (laughs) And the the alumni... The Cairo Games are wild. (laughs) Parker West, <laughs> some people refer to it. But it's a great yeah. place. Uh, food I've never is been there. I don't know. And, and then, <laughs> don't know what we're talking about here. It's a place for relaxation, too. As, as it well is as amazing the stories that, that come out of that, too. There's there's things every year that go on at the Cairo Games that I don't know about. There's things that I probably shouldn't know about. Probably and better so, that but, you know. But, uh, yeah. uh, when they come back, when the alumni come back and stuff, it's fun to reminisce and stuff. And you talk about the future. And so one, of the, one of the really great things about the Cairo Games is that no matter how good you are, you know that your team's going to be at least 30% different than it was the year before. Right. Because you're going through three trimesters. You're, you're losing three tries of students. So you've got to replace all those. So every year it's a, it's a whole different and, – and, and that's one of the things that, that I find remarkable, that we were able to sustain the level we have for so many years because – you are replacing all. It's not like it's not like a uh, a professional team where you get a core of players and right. they can last they through the contract for ten years. These guys are all gone, and 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 like Bo says, uh, you know, by the time you get to try ten, you're very career oriented at that right. point. You're not interested you're in the Cairo game sometimes, you right. know. And and to sustain ten, or th- really thirteen years of that level is is uh, it's a it's a tribute to our students that really want to go and play. Absolutely. Well, this has been a remarkable run. 13 years. And Steve, you've been here. Is this your 14th year at Parker? Uh, yeah, this I we just this was my 14th Cairo Games. Yes. Cairo, this is your 14th. Yes, I inherited a team when I first came here that that um uh, 
we, we, we count it, but it's it, I, I like to think of the last 13 years as, as my teams, yeah, and, and yeah. those are the teams that, that uh, I helped form, and, and we instituted certain policies for and stuff, and, and uh, we've had some success, so we keep running with it. Absolutely. Well, Bob, I would think that uh, Coach Weller here is probably akin to this guy that coaches at Duke University <laughs> in terms of his success here at Parker University. Getting close. Getting close. Getting uh, close. I, I, I will tell you, when, when I first came here, Parker, and I'm sure it still is, but it was, it was regarded as the highest academic institution in the country. And I've always been fascinated by the combination of high academics and high athletics. Right. Uh, I, I was at the Olympic Games, and, and the coach of the baseball I was with the U.S. baseball team in 1988. Mark Marcus was the head coach. He is the head coach at Stanford University. Mm. And I've always thought Stanford, Duke, uh, to some extent Northwestern up in Chicago, right. had to play the games with a different set of rules. Uh, they weren't able to recruit just anybody. They had to recruit outstanding students. Right. So if they could be the best academic schools and the best athletic schools, that made a good marriage. Well, when I came here and I saw that we were the best academic institution of all chiropractic schools nationwide, I thought, well, why can't we be the best athletic also? Sure. So we put that on the students, and our students respond to that. Our, our, we have the kind of students that if you ask them or you challenge them, they're going to respond, and, yeah. and that's that's the real reason why we've had the 13-year run. Well, another thing that's happened is the Parker Fit addition to the campus, and we had the Parker Fit Games just in mm -hmm. the last month or so when we had the Parker Dallas Seminar, and that was exciting. I mean, the students were really pumped up to, per yes. to participate, to compete. Most, the fittest chiropractic female and male students, and we had a, a 50 plus category for the more senior athletes mm -hmm. to compete. I thought that was terrific. Well, it, it just shows you our, our, our students do like to compete, whether it's in the classroom or whether it's, it's extracurricular and stuff. And, and uh, um, you know, I, I've always been amused at, at the schools that come to the chiro games, for instance, and say, well, we're just here to have fun. Uh, we are too, but in my opinion, winning is a lot more fun than losing. It's a lot more fun. A lot more fun on the trip back if yes. you won. Yes, yes, and and Sunday night is a lot more entertaining when you bring home the gold medal as Absolutely. opposed to bringing a silver one. But, no doubt but, about uh, that. Um, so I, I, you know, sometimes I feel I get too much credit for the Cairo games. I haven't scored a point yet in the Cairo games. I haven't got a base hit yet. I haven't run yet. You know, it's, a, it's all on the students, and they they respond, and and uh, we have incredible students at the school. I know we do. We're fortunate to have such fantastic students. Now, Bo, isn't there a tradition at the Cairo games? Something about the the beach and the water and oh, that got canceled this year. Really, we <laughs> yes, didn't do that did. this year. I didn't see any pictures this year. I wondered about that. Well, there was a shark attack one night uh, when we took Steve and tossed them into a wave, and I think the year before that uh, we tossed him and the wave broke, so it was <laughs> so really was shallow, and he went head first. <laughs> and now, also, Steve is too humble to say this, but the reason that we do so well in Cairo games is because of Steve. We have Parker chants. We do chant Parker. But every single year I've been there for three years, we've had everyone chant Steve, Steve, yeah. Steve at the end yeah. of the night, every time. So well, if you take 106 athletes anywhere, yeah. I mean across the street, it takes a lot of logistical preparation, planning, making sure everything is in place. And, and there's so many things that can go wrong, transportation, yeah, yeah. weather, no illness, all kinds of things. And you gotta have somebody that's able to manage those things and, and be flexible and easy to to manage the, the well, things that come up. I appreciate that, but it's a labor of love because it, anybody who's ever been on this campus and spent any kind of time at all knows that we have the greatest students in the world and you, and you tend to do things um, beyond what you normally would do or beyond what you think you can do to help them and, and they certainly respond. Uh, you know, the results are there. It's Like I said, I haven't scored a point in the Cairo games and we've we've been successful for 13 years and right. and uh, that's that's a credit of our athletes and our students and people like Bo who take a leadership role and, and, and insist on that. When he takes the floor, he's telling his team, we're there to win. Right. And it's it's him that's-, that's, that's right, uh, stay focused. Uh, he's, he's the one leading that campaign for sure. Yeah. Well, congratulations to you both, Bo, to you and your teammates. That was just a fantastic performance, Thank Steve, you, as always. We appreciate Thank your Thank you effort. very much. Appreciate it. And it's exciting to be with you. And uh, I know that uh, the programs that we offer here, like the Cairo Games and the recreational activities, have a lot to do with students' decision on attending Parker yes. and certainly on staying here and doing well. All that fits together, and it just makes a real big difference that you're, that you're with us. Thank so you. So this is another edition of To Your Health, and uh, we've had great guests today, Mr. Steve Weller, Mr. Bo Sauls, and we really, really appreciate you guys. and. Wish you the best of luck for next year. It'll be here before we know it. Tune in again for more To Your Health. 
Thank you very much. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.